Kyle. Thanks so much for watching Making Healthcare Work for You, Different Perspectives and Empowering Solutions. I'm Stephanie Fields, joined by my co-host, Dr. Apoorv Gupta, and we are talking to Alina Nadenova, who is the CEO and co-founder of Febris. Febris is a really awesome company that creates mobile kits that have digital monitoring technology that do not require Wi-Fi, provide immediate feedback to the community health worker who might be visiting somebody in a rural area, and then can make an immediate decision based on what that device is telling them, and then also shares it with the medical provider in case there's additional thing, next steps that might need to be taken. And so with that, we had a really amazing conversation, and then we had one more question that Apoorv threw in. So instead of a recap this week, we are doing a one extra question. So Apoorv, take it away. Thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I appreciate the opportunity, Elena. I'm, I'm, we're fascinated because as our audience has, has heard from your uh, interview earlier this week, uh, you're just doing dramatic uh, things with capturing all sorts of biometric data using different sensors to capture their pulse oximetry, their heart rate, their blood pressure, and other factors. Uh, but as we're realizing, the burden of disease all throughout the world is only increasing because of environmental factors, social factors, emotional factors, mental health, uh, so-called, as we call it, social determinants of health issues. And so the question is, uh, those things uh, really aren't captured with those same sensors. And uh, how are you currently uh, thinking about integrating that kind of data into Fibris's model? And where do you see that future going? Yeah, it's a very good question, particularly when we think about the high risk patient groups, because health is only semi quantifiable through physiological metrics when it comes to those patients. Um, so what we currently do is uh, capture what we call soft signs. Um, so a range of, of observations and additional context metrics um, that come with every single evaluation. Um, and integrate those um, into the, the overall assessment of the patient. Uh, where we see that going in the future is really being much more connected with additional data sets, um, particularly when it comes to exactly what you were mentioning, environmental context, um, as well as socioeconomic context um, that can more holistically inform the risks that individual patients or communities are being subjected to. Um, but that requires a higher level of, of data and AI that we currently have in place. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate your thinking us through that because you're thinking so expansively and ultimately thinking more uh, comprehensively about what is required to really make sure patients are well taken care of and that they have the access they need. And it isn't just about, again, the things that we can detect coming out of their bodies, but it's the environment around them and, and it's ultimately their mental health. So really much appreciate your thinking about this and uh, uh, sharing it with our audience. And we wish you more uh, power in your journey going forward. Thank you. Thank you yes. so much. I really, I found your whole interview and especially this answer too, so inspiring. I just love your focus on everything and your resolve to see an issue and go out and solve it. It's impressive. So thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate your time and thank you all for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.